Howdy partner! Today I'll show you how to fix damaged wire connected to the power adapter box. This guy can also be used for AC-DC, AC-AC or other power adapter power supply. As always you will need basic soldering kit and toolkit. It's a typical problem when wire is damaged at power adapter box or when wire is damaged right before the power supply. Storm already has tried to fix this using MacGyver tape, but it won't help this time. Start by cutting the wire where there is no damage. And now the most difficult part. Open the power adapter box in a way that it can be put back together later on without any visual defects. Nowadays most blocks are glued and that is pretty bad. If your block is full of screws then you're lucky. My block has been repaired before so there are no problems for me opening it. <laughs> then disconnect the damaged wire from the block. But in case of the red current, remember which one is plus and minus. In case of alternating current, it doesn't matter. The old wire should be pulled out of its rubber shield so we can pull through the new wire. This won't be easy, but totally worth it, because repairs will look like they've been done by a real professional. Then cut the wire in inclined way to make it easier to get the wire through the rubber protector and just try to get it in. If you can't get it through, then drill some more until you are successful, but don't damage the protector. A little bit of effort and wire is through. Now we just need to fully pull it through using pliers. Clean both wires from isolation so we can cover them with tin to make soldering them to power supply easier. Before this measure how long the wire should be in the power supply. Fixate the wire using super glue and then cover wires with tin. Then unsolder or cut off the old wires. But in case of DC remember which one is plus and which one is minus. Then solder the repaired wire to the box. When they're soldered somehow put back the construction of the power supply. Before that I suggest testing it out if it even works. I already did that so I can safely put everything back. If everything is in its place, put some glue on the contact places and squeeze the block together. For additional fixation I used black duct tape. Well, I know, looks kinda disgusting but it holds well though. When glue has dried you can remove the tape. And we're done! Congratulations, you have repaired the power supply for your synthesizer, console or any other device in less than one hour. Support those who do DOIs by clicking the like button, subscribe and I'll see you in other DOI videos. Thanks and goodbye.